everyone, I thought today I'll do a bit of a different catch up instead of just talking to you um, I will be playing around with my What's this one? MD cotton now a while ago It's been confirmed that these have been like stopped um, The production of these has stopped. I don't know if anything has changed. I haven't actually worked in this journal for a very very long time you can see 2018 uh, I probably did in 2019 because that's where I was creating all these um, kind of stories with my um, stamp sets by the way the uh, face of the day stamp set has been sold out and I still have a couple of the florals left, so these large ones, and then the mini uh, wildflowers. These are my used ones, so that's why they're a bit black. Let me just grab the new clean ones to show you. So these are still available as well. And then just to give you a little update while we are at it, there is also... Um, the stencils are still available as well and my Etsy shop update <laughs> and also the uh, ephemera um, pieces they're also available the faces and the flowers so if you were interested yeah so um, I thought today I will do a little play around in my journal and just kind of take you uh, on a little you know, just easy kind of art creative session. That's typically what I would do if I'm feeling like low on energy, if I'm feeling tired, if I'm feeling uninspired. All of these things I'm feeling right now. So I thought while I do a little chit chat with you, I'll also be playing around with these. So um, basically just to update you on the tropical palette this palette has been sold out um, within half an hour if you knew uh, I'm just sharing that with you so these are my handmade vegan watercolors um, I don't use any fillers I use premium quality or high quality um, artist grade um, um, pigments and basically if if some of the half pens have few cracks and imperfections in them, that is because I don't fill them with other things like um, fillers uh, that could make them look prettier. Um, also, I don't use honey um, in them. Honey can make watercolors look a bit more smoother, but I'm using a vegetable-based glycerin, so that's what makes them vegan. Um, so yeah, it's all about pigments rather than, you know, making them look super, super, like, perfect. Um, and yeah, so quite a few people on Instagram have shared their videos of using these and it makes me so happy to see other people enjoying them as much as I do. And the swatches, even though I know how beautiful these are and I shared all the swatches with you, I link a couple of videos up here where I have done sort of all these kind of, um, you know, sharing all of the swatches and what you can do with this palette. But still seeing other people, uh, you know, creating with them makes me still amazed how beautiful they are. So... Yeah, in terms of a restock, I was supposed to have a restock uh, by the end of May, so this month. Unfortunately, this is not going to happen and I'm so sorry. I feel I feel quite disappointed uh, that I can't fulfill what I have promised. But trust me, if I am not doing it, there is a you know good reason for it. I always push myself to the limit and above and... This time, um, yeah, I just feel my body doesn't have the energy to to do a restock. Um, these are obviously handmade, so you have to mill them and um, you have to... It's Making your own watercolors is very um, laborious, laborsome <laughs> um, job to do and I enjoy doing it when I feel well. But 
when I feel quite fatigued and low on energy and I just would not be able to do that. So I will postpone the uh, restock until June. Hopefully the plan is that I can do a restock every month unless there is like a month where I would want to take a break um, or maybe like summer holidays where my son would be at home with us. So that probably would be a no restock month. But um, that's the idea. So please, uh, you know, be um, be understanding and most of you really are and I appreciate it so much. Just to finish um, on the palette um, update, I will do closer to the time, I will do an announcement, you know, a couple of weeks before that um, and then to make sure that you are aware that these are back in stock. So I won't just put them in my shop um, silently. I will I will uh, make sure I announce it on Instagram and here on YouTube. So that's that for the tropical palette. So the very last um, illustration I did in this journal was this girl. So that was the FOTD stamp set. Um, before you ask me about the restock, I had this restock in my shop for quite a while, so I don't know whether um, I will be restocking it anytime soon. Um, but yeah, these have been, I think this was maybe second or third restock, so they've done really, really well. Um, but for now, I think I will focus on trying to sell all of the other floral um, products that I have left in my shop before I create anything new. Um, and yeah, so these are all of these are still available. So I'm going to focus on um, building some sort of floral arrangement and really have absolutely no idea how I want to do it. So like I said, I have the florals A6 and then I have the wildflower A7. For my ink, I will use Distress Ink in Tattered Rose by Tim Holtz. I quite like to use it as a base um, ink. It's very unnoticeable, but enough for you to build with. So, let's see. I'll just get a few of them out so that I can kind of have them ready. And I think I'm going to use these as my kind of main flowers and then build upon. So what we need to do here by the way, if you don't have any acrylic blocks, which I also sell in my shop, I think there's some left. What you can do is just use it like that. So keep it on the um, acrylic uh, sheet. And then just press them. There you go. And then Let's see, I want to now show you that you can use these um, like you can divide them without cutting them. You just basically stamp up with ink just this area here and move it around. So you don't have to stamp the entire image. So you get a bit of that. And then this other flower here, what I would do is put it somewhere else, like like here. So it's absolutely fine when they overlap a little bit because you're going to use um, like a fine um, tip pen to like a fine liner um, to then just you know work around things and decide where you want what and bring certain things to uh, overlap without 
lining them over. Gosh, I can't even talk today. Ah, all right, so this lavender, I think I will leave it for now. So now I would go into this stamp set, which I have um, all here, which are a bit darker. So these I would use a block for. So here are my blocks. I like these round ones because they're kind of comfortable to hold and maneuver. Um, I find them easy on the wrist. There aren't that many left in my shop, just to let you know. And so I like these leaves to use them to build up a bit of composition. Although really, I should do it right at the end when I'm done with everything else. So I might go back to add some flowers before I do that. So now I'm using these flowers here. You can attach two of them at the same time to kind of make the process a bit quicker. Or you can uh, use them separate because they are divided. So for instance, now I'll take one off and I'll just use one of them and I will stick it somewhere here. So notice how they're not connected anywhere, but we will do that with a fine liner. So let's see what else I'd like to add here. I think I'm going to add this element here. They're like rose, rose hip. Um, Maybe let's put it right in the middle. That looks quite cute. And then maybe one more here. What I like about clear stamps is that you can be super creative. You can just like, you know, ink it up up to here. You can ink it up here. You can make it longer. So I've given, I have drawn them so that you have that flexibility of using them and almost kind of like drawing with your um, stamp sets. They are all hand drawn, they're not like digitally drawn, they are actually hand drawn so um, you can do loads of things with them on a day like today when I don't feel like picking up and drawing anything, I just want to build with what's already there. It gives me less things to like think about less things to worry about. Um, maybe one up here or not? Just to elevate the whole thing. Just give it a bit more length or height rather. Okay, I think I'm pretty, pretty happy. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. So initially I thought I might add a vase um, drawing but I think I actually will not. Let's see, I might change my mind, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to use my platinum carboning fountain pen. Do you remember those if you've been watching my channel for a while? Um, yeah, it's a fantastic pen and it gives you the finest line possible. I have zoomed you in a little bit so you can see more detail now and I'll take the autofocus off as well. So here I will start just drawing out these elements and kind of be more mindful of what I want to be seen where. Have I mentioned the ink is waterproof? So you can totally do watercoloring over the top of it. So here, for instance, I will bring this petal in the foreground. 
and this element in the background. I call this lazy drawing because you are drawing, let's face it, but you're kind of following the lines a little bit. The lines are there to help you. You can use them or you can do your own thing where you select how you want things to be. That was our lazy drawing and I think it looks so pretty and effective. All right, so there was chatting to myself thinking I was recording and clearly I was not. So apologies about that. So what have I done so far that you missed out on? I have um, just colored in the flowers and I was saying that I haven't used this watercolor palette, my tropical uh, palette on this paper yet. So it was uh, interesting to see how it would work on this like non-traditional watercolor paper which it's not but it does take this paper does take a light watercolor um, washer so not too much water there quite well so I do enjoy it okay so I've done these colors in the um, coral color here and I was just saying the names coral reef then we have black pearl we have Caribbean Breeze and Seaweed, and this was the one that you could purchase additionally, Pink Chiffon, and that's all I've done here. And now mixing up the Caribbean Breeze together with the Coral Reef, and that gives us this beautiful color. You might think it's quite muted at the minute, but wait till you see the magic now again. I don't know if that will come through the same on this paper as it does on watercolor paper uh, but we'll see we'll find out so on thick watercolor paper like 300 gsm or less um, but thereabouts especially if it's cold pressed but also on hot pressed it gives you these beautiful pigment separation yeah it starts doing it here as well so that's quite good and I do love this color combo. So interesting. Okay, let's think of what color we'd like to use here. I think I'm going to go more for the green one here. So this, all of these are quite intense. So I have also mixed up a color similar to Burnt Sienna. Uh, which is basically seaweed with a touch of uh, Caribbean breeze and then um, coral reef in there. It gives you more of a brownie type of a color. And um, that's all that I have done here. And let me just finish up with this little seed pot. So these are these were inspired by seed pots. 
that you get at the end of the season. And now what I would do is take this black. Because it's shimmery, I like to use it at the end. So it has a bit of shimmer to it. It's not too much. So I like to use it at the end of the illustration just to give some contrast elements. And then I'm going to also add a bit of black here. And the idea is that the middle bit that I left red, I want that to be red or coral rather. So it pops out a little bit. So that's it. And now we're going to go back into the red. And put this beautiful coral just in the middle. It can be super vibrant if you use very little water. This is the one color that's not light fast in this set because of its um, super bright and fluorescent nature. So that's it. I think that looks pretty cute. What do you think? Very simple, very quick. And um, it was a joy to just play around and, you know, not think about it too much. Um, yeah, so that's my lazy drawing. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you soon.